Okay, um, <clears throat> here we've got um, three masses aligned as I'm going to draw them here. We're given an axis system. This and they're all connected. And the assumption is that the the rods are massless. And we've got a 200 gram mass here, a 160 gram mass here, a 350 gram mass here. And we're given that this is 12 centimeters and this is 10 centimeters. And it asks for the x coordinate of the center of mass and the y coordinate of the center of mass. So um, to solve for a x center of mass, we just sum up all the masses times the x coordinates and then divide it by the total mass of the object. So doing this for this problem here, so we've got um, this x coordinate is going to be 12 centimeters. Uh, so for here, uh, so numbering these from one, two, three, our x1 is zero, our x2 is 12 centimeters, and our x3 is 12 centimeters. And so then the x center of mass is just 200 grams times zero, plus 160 grams times 12 centimeters, plus 350 grams times 12 centimeters, all divided by 200 grams plus 160 grams plus 350 grams. Um, so, continue. So this is just zero, and so this is um, 1920 grams centimeters plus 4,200, all divided by 710 grams, which is 6,120 over 710 grams. Grams are gonna cancel. And so our X center of mass is just 8.6 centimeters. And now for the y center of mass we need our y coordinates so again looking at this and our axis system we have y1 is 0, y2 is 0, and y3 is 10 centimeters. And so uh, we have a similar equation for our y center of mass. So it's just going to be the sum over all the masses times the y coordinates over the sum of all the masses. So our x center of mass, or so our y center of mass is just going to be 200 grams times zero plus 160 grams times zero plus 350 grams times 10 centimeters all over the 200 grams plus 160 grams plus 350 and so then this is equal to uh, 3500 gram centimeters over 710 grams. These grams will cancel, giving us uh, 4.93 centimeters. 
And so our uh, X center of mass is 8.62 and our Y center of mass is 4.93. Okay, um, <clears throat> and so uh, we just find our center of masses by summing up the masses times the distances. Uh, here we have a, a little table, uh, but in the end we get 8.62 for our, our x and 4.93 for our y, so that looks good.